Hey, Brendan, how's it going? I'm good, but I've been up at night lately. I've been worried about the problem of how do we get people to recognize spikes better? I know, me too. And people are excited. We have a lot of residents interested in learning with us. Yeah, yeah that's great. Mm -hmm. Well, we had a little test that we could use to teach people and then measure how well they're doing. Yeah. Wait, I, I know a superhero whose life is dedicated to spike detection. The most special guest I've ever had. Hey. Welcome. Hey, how are you, Brandon? Thanks. Thanks for inviting me here. Thanks for coming. Of course. Well, it looks like we've got it up here. Do you, you want to walk us through it a little bit? What do you do first when you get to this screen? Uh, you have to register or sign in uh, using uh, the button start. Okay. Mm. You have you are asked to enter your name. Uh, for example, Spike Master. Yeah, that's a good one. Then click OK. So it will ask you uh, to input the basic information such as, OK, which center you're affiliated with and uh, your experience of rating EG, how many years are there? And whether you are, you know. <laughs> I don't know. Will it accept that? That's not really a number. <laughs> it will accept that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I accept cool. it. <laughs> okay. Then you just, you know, start your wonderful journey of uh, rating spikes. You're going okay. to 1,000 beautiful spikes, actually, um, but at different level of uh, consensus from the experts selected from our database. Well, now, now, how do we adjust the way it looks? Like this looks uh, like I want to decrease the gain a little bit. Is that right? Yeah, in the in instructions, it will show you how the buttons work. Mm -hmm. We have key short, uh, yeah, shortcuts, like uh, use the up, down arrow to change the gain uh, in mm -hmm. the direction. You can go left or right to come to the previous or next candidate using it error keys as well. And also you can change the montage of the EEG by hitting the control button. So it will uh, change uh, among C2, the monopolar, L, uh, uh, bipolar, which is a double banana, and also the common average reference. Mm, okay. And also you can, be, because your task is quite simple, just say yes or no, whether it's a spike or not. You can use a button one or two to do that really fast. And are, are they all like, uh, is the right answer yes for all of them? Of course, no. Um, as we mentioned, we have a group of eight experts. So we have uh, spikes uh, from different level of uh, consensus from the experts. So we will uh, uh, randomly select around one, 100 from each group. So you will see a lot of really beautiful and easy textbook like spikes. And you will also see a lot of really difficult and um, um, not that simple uh, spikes where the expert also got you know, confused or uh, not that agreed that well. Okay, so it tests the full range of difficulty. Yes. Um, why don't we try a few? Don't tell us what the right answer is here. I, what's the red box? You're 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 going to ask to, to vote only for the uh, the half second uh, data uh, in this red box. Mm. So we're not we're not looking at these guys then. No, no, no. Okay. So the, the ten second is just to show you know the context or EEG to give Got you it. more uh, information. Because that, that's often very helpful. So if we see something maybe similar to what's in the box over there and we're sure that that's a spike, maybe th that'll change our answer about what's in the box. But mm -hmm. yeah. And what's this the pink lead here, JJ? This is the EKG. This one, wow, this one looks pretty challenging to me. I see that little guy over at the uh, yeah, posterior left occipital region. Yeah. It's not small and it doesn't have a slow wave and it mm -mm. I don't know it's kind of triangular it's not uh, very asymmetric it doesn't disrupt the background very much I'm gonna say but I'll bet you half of people would I, I bet you this is one where people disagree yeah I'm on the fence still but we have to make up our oh wait look look Just, looks like, never mind <laughs> <laughs> Convinced. I guess I think it's a yes now. Now, although it's this appears to be during, uh, this is not a maximally awake person, most likely. Yeah. So this could be, could this be a vertex? Yeah. I guess it's a, it's a vertex where. Um, you think? Mm. Yeah. <sighs> How many votes do we have? Hard. I say 
I say it's a spike. What, what do you guys vote? Vertex, vertex, and spike. We have two for vertex, or two for vertex, one for spike. So we have to vote non-spike. No, I vote for spike. Oh, two spikes, one vertex wave. Okay, okay, we're gonna be wrong. I do it. Go. Oh no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so the good thing is you can get a instant feedback right away right. by a emoji here. If you got a yeah, a sad finish with tears, which means, okay, your your opinion is different from the group of consensus. But if you got a smiley face, which means you are correct, you agree with uh, our group of experts. But sometimes we will get a neutral phase, um, which means actually for our uh, group of experts, they have um, disagreement as well. Right. Yeah. And that's just, we can just take, take Seems a- Seems like this one, they were pretty, pretty clear that we were wrong. <laughs> Okay. So should we do a couple more? Okay. Yeah. So this one seems pretty localized. It doesn't have, it has a little bit of a field, I guess, to T3 and FP1. So, mm -hmm. and it has a slow wave. I'm going to say yes. Switch to bipolar. Yeah. I think I'm convinced too. JJ, what do you think? Bike. Awesome. Yay. Hey, all that feels so great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next. Uh, no. No. JJ. Uh, no. No. You want to switch to C two? Maybe common average. Nature. Maybe maybe average. Yeah. No. No. Yay! Yeah. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one more. This one is too easy. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty in your face. Spike, JJ? Spike. Let's do it. Yay. OK. <laughs> and just as a reminder, for the pre-test and post-test, there won't be any feedback. But for the intervention group, if you're part of it, then you have the uh, smiley faces to tell you if you're wrong, right or wrong. OK. So when we're testing, you know feedback. But when you're running, there is feedback. Right. OK. Sounds good. Yeah.